Sandra, just tell us, uh, oh, actually, just recap this terribly tragic story. Uh, uh, what happened and how this accident uh, claimed so many lives? Yes, um, as you know, uh, the Mulatto Road is a very notorious road. We've seen a lot of accidents on this road um, over the years. Um, the accident happened just after um, 8 o'clock yesterday um, uh, evening. Um, we understand that a truck was trying to overtake a stationary truck on that road and when it overtook it, it uh, collided head on with a bus um, coming from the direction of uh, Pretoria. Um, unfortunately, 29 people died in that accident. Initially, the number stood at 26, uh, 11 critically injured, but three more people died um, at hospital um, afterwards, and that brings the number to a total of 29. We understand that uh, the accident uh, happened under wet conditions. Uh, apparently, there was heavy uh, rainfall in that area just before the accident, um, but we understand that a team will investigate um, during uh, today as well. They started last night to establish the exact cause of the accident. Uh, Sandra, do we have uh, any idea today uh, on the condition of those in hospital uh, and the exact number of those that are in critical condition and then those who are, who are about to be discharged? Um, the latest figure that we've got um, after the update we got uh, last night, which brought the total of deaths to 29, is that there's still eight uh, people in a critical condition in, in hospital. And then we understand that there's another 12 people that is uh, only slightly hurt. Sandra, I want to, I want to talk about uh, the Maloto Road itself. Uh, we've, got, we've had a lot of tweets coming into our, our page telling us, uh, the viewers really telling us uh, about this notorious stretch of road and, and how dangerous it is really uh, and that it needs to be looked at. Uh, uh, what are the murmurs coming out of the provincial department? Well, you are quite right. Um, you know, working in the Pretoria News Office, we've covered numerous serious accidents just uh, uh, on the Malotta Road. Uh, only last month we saw an accident where 18 people uh, were seriously injured. Um, uh, fortunately, no deaths in, um, with that accident. But um, over the years, we've seen um, quite some serious accidents, uh, large amounts of people who died on that road. Um, as I said, um, the, the provincial department is saying that they are, they are sending in a team to investigate. Um, there's been a lot of um, a talk over recent years also to upgrade that road. Um, we understand that uh, at parts of that road it's, it's very um, uh, dangerous, potholes, um, not a, a, a lot of visibility. And then also um, one should take in mind that um, or take into account that um, about 50,000 commuters use that road every day. A lot of buses, a lot of taxis on that road as well. Um, there were attempts uh, uh, previously and uh, to upgrade the road. Uh, certain parts of the road had been upgraded, but still, um, it, it's still not enough. Um, there's still very bad parts on that road, a very long stretch of road mm. that also needs to be um, uh, looked at. Yeah, that's certainly very concerning. I wanted to ask you, uh, I heard that uh, the Premier and uh, local provincial MEC, they'll be, uh, they'll be visiting those injured in hospital and, and, and also some of the families. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, that is correct. Um, the the um, Mukamalanga Public Safety and Transport CEO, uh, Vusi Shongwe, and um, the, the Premier of the province will visit uh, the hospital. Um, they will also have a meeting with all the stakeholders involved, um, including Patco, uh, the owner of the bus, the Patco bus uh, company, as well as the owner of the truck, we understand. And then they will also meet the families there. Of course, they have uh, the, the horrible task this morning to identify their uh, next of kin. Uh, they will be there to support those families and also to have discussions with all the uh, stakeholders um, uh, on the way forward and how they are going to handle this situation further, the investigation as well as assistance to the families. Sandra, thank you very much for your contribution today. Sheds really sheds a lot of light on a, on a, a, a tragic story really today. That's our assignments editor in Pretoria, Sandra Delanga.